Left Wing Kings. Listen, think, act, repeat. Donald Trump has undeniably left a significant mark on American politics. This dude's entry into politics has Americans thinking differently about how they vote. Now, one particular demographic that seems to be making a total about face on how they vote are black males. So today we're going to go through the top five reasons that black males are deciding to vote for Donald Trump. Reason number one, Trump will improve the economy. Economic issues, particularly the cost of basic needs like food, gas, and more, have been cited as a significant reason that black males support Trump. What are your thoughts, Walanda? Well, um, if you're looking for a Trump 2.0 economy, um, <laughs> his focus really isn't on... Well, let me take it back. Um, he's thinking about tariffs. He's going to be talking about that again. Um, and again, if we're looking at the, the black man and, and him being the head of household and being able to afford food, I would think if you're raising costs, right, on tariffs and things that are coming into the country, that would actually increase costs. But that's what he wants plans on doing because he feels like our country is being um, taken advantage by others. So he wants to make sure that that doesn't happen, but that's going to increase the cost in tariffs, which therefore would pass that cost on to the consumer. Um, the other thing he says, massive tax cuts. He talks about it all the time. So when you think of major corporations and the higher uh, people in higher tax brackets, I don't know how that's going to help the Damn. black male or any other male <laughs> or any it other doesn't. female or, uh, again, 99% of the country. How is that going to impact them? Right. Because the tax cuts, again, are not for the people, which is 99% of us. Pays the tax. Exactly. Yep. So just that 1% would be benefiting from that. So once again, and then he also talks about the curtailment of immigration, which you're like, well, how does that impact the economy? These people have jobs that nobody wants, guys. Okay. So the ones that are picking your fruit, your oranges, your apples, you know, the ones you see the custodial staff and things of that nature, those are the jobs we're talking about. And so if you decrease immigration, again, you actually are decreasing the labor force. And then how does that impact you as well? You don't have anybody, you know, as far as doing these particular jobs. Exactly. And then costs, again, rise. So you have to look at the, um, I want to say the, the, the long term, you know, you just think of you go into your grocery store, which I agree because we just went shopping yesterday and I spent $100. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why is that happening? Um, but doing the research, um, some of the higher labor costs is due to manufacturers exactly. and, and, and the beef and steak and, and that they're not their cattles are smaller. So, again, they don't really talk about that stuff in the news, but you got to go research the information of what is causing the rise in prices. And then you have what's called inflation. Right. Well, you have also have greedflation, which meaning your corporations are mm -hmm. actually capitalizing on the fact that you are struggling. Right. But you still got to eat. So you're going to mm -hmm. pay the prices and you pay the prices. And what happens to them is they benefit again on the profiteering. So once again, I'm um, just some economic that he says this is what he's going to do. And if you believe that that is going to, you know, help you some kind of way in your everyday life, then yeah, go ahead and Trump, uh, vote for him. But Trump 2.0 doesn't sound very beneficial to the middle class or the 99% of us, right. including those black males. Yeah, I mean, we're going, you know, uh, you know, we, we talked about this, but we talked about the, the, the working class people. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, a couple episodes ago, Trump's not your guy. So to my brothers, these these black guys, I don't know who the hell they are. <laughs> I do. Uh, well, I mean, uh, <laughs> Trump's not your guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get down to, uh, nope. you know, let's just be real and talk to you. And anybody is more than welcome to get on this show and call and talk to us about it and prove me wrong. How he's your guy. Yeah. Come on, man. He's There's nothing that Trump does that says he's trying to help out black males unless you might think you're a black conservative male and you, could, you, know, you got your head up up his ass and you want to be like him and, and try to do stuff like that that's the only one way i can think that you you know you're trying to be in tim scott's position that's the only thing that i can think but if you're a working class black man you know an average brother or, or whatever the case may be or a typical brother uh he's not doing anything to benefit you and you say well what has biden done well biden's created jobs you know what i'm saying Believe it or not, the economy's in a great position right now. The stock market is up and going. And a lot of people forget where we're at. And a lot of people who don't understand politics, <clears throat> Cardi B, don't understand that like <laughs> when Trump was in office and like, and I'm not saying she said this, but she said some crazy stuff. We can get that later. But uh, uh, when you were getting uh, a supplement, uh, checks and all that stuff, and, and money and stealing PPP loans and all mm -hmm. that crazy shit you think Trump did. 
He didn't do that shit. COVID did that. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was just the dude that allowed COVID to happen and didn't didn't prepare us for it. That that allowed the government to have to start throwing you a lot of money and put us in a deep deficit, mm-hmm. which ruined the economy. That to believe it or not, all the inflation and stuff that you're feeling now it's is the right. repercussions of the money and stuff that we mm-hmm. had to do back during COVID. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's not coming in with a plan to make things better for you. Ask him. He's not. Read the 2025 project. He's not coming in trying to make things better for, for working class people. It's definitely not black people. You know what I'm saying? It's not happening. Nobody who supports him is doing anything like that. You know, you can't point it out. And don't try to tell me, ah, you know, he do- donated to HBCUs. Well, a lot of white people donate to HBCUs. You know what I'm saying? But that's not helping the black community. That's not doing anything. A lot of y'all even go back and say, Obama didn't do anything for the black community. Guess what? Have you figured it out? The president, nine times out of ten, they don't usually narrow it down or gut it down like that. They try to do it on a, a broad perspective so so everybody can kind of benefit from mm-hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. you know, people think that, I, I don't know, that I guess that, you know, Obama should have went in there. Life should have just got better for black people. Just don't understand how the presidency actually works. And no matter what Donald Trump and his people say, they ain't going to do shit for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Plain and simple. Yeah. So let's get into the reason number two, because, you know, we talked about improving the economy and, and it kind of goes hand to hand with reason number two. Reason number two is that Trump will help black business owners. So Trump's stance on the economy, taxes and regulation will help black male business owners keep more money in their pockets, get things like more PPP loans and mm-hmm. things like that. So what do you say to that, Ace? No, you know, and, and I'm going, but believe it or not, it, his policies usually deal with business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's usually like with corporate taxes and business taxes and stuff like that. So there is some benefit when it comes to that. And I'm not going to lie and say that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that if you're a small business owner, it's really going to make any difference for you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because small businesses have different challenges. I think that if you're mm-hmm. a, 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 a a thriving company that, that that's, you know, mid to large, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can see some, you know, you're going to see some benefits of that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, and, you know, and, and tr- Trump runs from the Republican Party. So that's what they're about. So they're about business, you know, looking at business taxes and corporate taxes and cutting that stuff for you. But their theory that's been out since Reagan of trickle down economics hasn't benefited anybody Mm-mm. after that. So he's going to come up with that same spectrum. So, yeah, it should benefit businesses, you know, if you do own a business, but you're going to have to be probably at a certain level, yeah. you know. If you are uh, selling wings at the club, bro, it's not going to affect you <laughs> at all. Hey, if you, the only one thing I can see in that case is what you, we already alluded to it was the the loans, but people will tie directly to that. Well, I got a loan like to help my business when he was the president. What has Biden given me when, since I've been the president? Now you're a hundred percent right. If it weren't for COVID, them <laughs> loans probably would never saw the light of day. No. Right. Yeah, so cutting taxes on corporations and high income individuals, that's been like the staple of the Republican Party, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. But again, that is an impact 99% of us. I will say that on the corporate tax cut, which does expire, just to let y'all know, in 2025, so you got one more year of the tax cuts, he had um, lowered it from 20 to 21% from 35%. Mm-hmm. So he gave them a very, very large tax cut in comparison. So again, uh, most of us middle class, believe it or not, pay between 18 and 22 percent. So we, we are paying more than a corporation itself mm-hmm. um, on there. So Biden um, wants to raise that back to 28 percent. So like you said and touched on, if you're a larger corporation, yes, you are benefiting your oil companies, your your, your mass production companies. They are benefiting quite a bit because, again, you got individuals that are paying more in taxes than a whole corporation that's worth a billion dollars. I'm not a billionaire by so far. Let me ask you a question real quick. Not to interrupt you. One no, longer. it's good. Okay. So Exxon, you know, right. they got a tax cut. They're paying about 21%. 21. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The last time I checked the gas prices, they haven't went down, right? No. That's the proof that trickles that's down greed, economics. That's called greed inflation. Don't work. That's, because <laughs> they're, they're making money. And off. Biden don't sit on the board of no. Exxon or nothing like no, that. He no don't benefit if Exxon does. makes any profits. No, sir. So why do we think the president has anything to do with gas prices? They don't. Okay. No. Okay. So- they don't directly, but lobbyists, right? You know, yeah. you know say this it's where the lobbyists come in. So people always get mad at the individual. Just think about it. Why would a president 
want gas prices to be high. That is not to their anything. benefit. Okay. Right? That's not to their benefit. They want people to vote for them. And the right. people come out and say gas prices this, but they don't have no direct well, impact and they cannot control the gas companies and tell them what their prices are going to be right, so legally. One more question. So if I had a president that I knew was going to cut my taxes and make it lower, wouldn't I lower my gas prices when he's in office to make him look better? Exactly. But to you, the people? Right. Mm-hmm. That's my point. Some people get mad and they're like, well, he yeah. was in president and it was lower. I just want to play dumb black guy right now yeah. okay. to vote for Trump. Appreciate I wanted it. to be that guy. Right, well, I want right. to play dumb black guy, and I'm going to ask a question, too. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you click that like button? <laughs> <laughs> click the like button, okay? And make sure that you share this content on all these social media platforms, and make sure that you subscribe to Left Wing Kings. All right, let's talk about reason number three. So right. reason number three, Democrats aren't doing enough to help black folks. Black folks feel that the Democratic Party had their chance, and they didn't earn our vote, and they haven't delivered anything to us, so we're going to move on. Ace, do these voters have a point? Well, I mean, I don't, it, you know, well, what are you looking for? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I don't know the Democratic Party. We ain't, we ain't overcame yet if that's what they asking <laughs> for. I mean, I, I, I don't know. But, and you, you know, like I said, it. It's an argument on both sides. You can see some things that didn't happen that didn't work for black folks, but you can see some things that are happening also. I think right now, what I like, well, what the Democratic Party is doing better than the Republican Party is they're governing. You know, they are mm-hmm. trying to pass legislation that's actually going to do something. Now, is all of it better? I can't, we don't know yet because it hasn't come into play, but they're at least doing something. The Republican Party. They're not passing anything that, that's going to help us out. So I don't understand why you're going to support a party or try to be behind a party that doesn't have any legislation working towards helping anybody. Now, I mean, that sounds like, you know, like a, a, a politician because I'm not even talking about the Democrats yet. I talked about the Republicans. So. Mm-hmm. But anyway, the Rep- you know, the infrastructure bill. That they got passed. I think that's big. That that the uh, that uh, Biden did and the, uh, the uh, Democrats got passed. You know, uh, I think that's going to help us out in the long run. I, I you know I don't think we feel that now, but I think that it is uh, the the Inflation Reduction Act that came out. I think that's going to mm-hmm. try to help, but unfortunately, it's kind of like if you're talking about governing and and trying to pass something that the government's going to try to do, it's not going to help if you put in another guy who's going to come in and Mm -hmm. shut that down. You know what I'm saying? So we may not even see the benefit of that. So those answers aren't there yet. That's why my answer right now is it's kind of hard to say, are Democrats doing anything for people yet? Yeah, I mean, they're doing stuff and they're passing legislation right now. We're just not feeling it yet. Mm -hmm. Now, we are seeing some, you know, we're seeing, you know, jobs go up. We're seeing some inflation go down. We're seeing the stock markets get better. We're starting to see the benefits of that right here at the end of the end of the mm-hmm. uh, uh, term. But just like any other president, once they put things in, they get to rolling on things at the end of their term. Now they need to get back in office to make that happen to try to push mm-hmm. it over to the next level. Uh, so yeah, the Democrats are you know they they they've put some legislation in play that should help us out if they can get over the next hump. I just don't see the the, the Republicans. In no way, shape, or form, doing anything for you, for you right mm-hmm. now, trying to pass any legislation, other than going back and forth and talking about you know fake eyelashes and uh, you know blonde butch bodies that, that you know <laughs> and going back and forth and just charging chaos. Shout out to Jasmine Crockett, you know what I'm saying? But uh, they're, they're not getting anything done in Congress. Yeah, I want to say that um, it's real for them. So when you when you go to the grocery store and you can't afford <laughs> your bread and your milk and your eggs, that's real. I mean, it, and it's, it is really happening. I, mean, I can't say that it's not because, I mm-hmm. mean, I've gone to the store a couple of times. So I think they feel like a sticker shock, um, definitely. And then they feel like I'm working hard, I'm working hard, but I'm not getting anywhere. Yeah, so unemployment um, is decreased, right? So everybody has jobs, but these jobs aren't paying. And that's, again, another issue. So, yeah, I got a job, but then I work to try to pay my groceries and 25% or 30% of my my money is going towards that. So these are real problems that real people are feeling. And I feel like they don't feel like the Democrats are, are what are you doing about that? Yeah, right. okay, so unemployment went down, but I got a job, but I still can't pay to eat. Right. So that's an issue. Um, and then they're also tired of the culture wars. You know, we've been fighting 
again, you know, the, the whole black white issue and reparations and stuff. And, and, and it's getting old. It's like, OK, so are you going to do something for us or you're not going to do something for us? I think they're tired of the, the conversation. I think they're tired of the back and forth and they just want things to happen. They want change um, to be evident for them. Um, the last couple of things I would say is what are we doing for other countries? So we got Ukrainians. We got the issue with Gaza. Mm -hmm. um, they're like, OK, so you helping and sending billions mm -hmm. of dollars billions of dollars over and over and over to another country, to different people. What about us? We've been fighting and, 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 and crying and, and fighting and crying and fighting and crying and, and, and trying to, to put ourselves in positions where we have voices and nothing's being done. Mm -hmm. And so when Democrats are in power and what are you doing? Yeah. And so we see this day to day. We, the media plays out. The media is, it shoves it in your face that, hey, we're going to give money to Ukrainians. Hey, we got to help the Ukrainians. You know, what are we doing for the Ukrainians? And black people are like, what are you doing for us? Right. We built you. What are you doing for me? It's yeah. my time. When's my time coming? You know, and I think, again, people keep saying the conversation keeps going up, you know, keeps circling back around. But it's because nothing is changing for them. They don't feel that. And as far as with Biden, I mean, he has done some great things. Again, I mean, for me personally, like I said, I talk about the student loan situation and helping people um, uh, get out of that type of debt. Mm -hmm. But then you got people who Never don't have their education. Right. But you got people who don't who aren't educated. So yeah, you help me. One right here. Right. But you don't you, like that doesn't benefit <laughs> hey. everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's not exactly. speaking to everyone. And I, I have to understand that, you know, and we as a people have to understand. I just think you need to help people with skill, period. Like, how are we going to, you know, be in society right. and be successful for ourselves, whether we went to college or not? Um, but they need to be speaking to everyone, just not a segment of, of the black community. And I think right now he's he's only speaking to a segment of people on some of the things that they have done for us, you know, as a country. Yeah, yeah I think it's important that mm -hmm. what you just brought up, it's about immediacy. Right. Mm -hmm. that, to all of the things you just kind of talk touched on to me in my mind, that's the first thing that I think, because you think about. Infrastructure bill is great. And like you said, Ace, you said in the long run, that's a great thing. Yeah. But what about right now? Like mm -hmm. people want black men want you to stop police harassment. Now, black men want their reparation checks like now. Mm -hmm. If you're going to give billions of dollars to Israel and Ukraine, give me some money. Now you sending them money now. It's the immediacy. It's not mm -hmm. it's not there. And that's what's causing people to say you ain't doing nothing for us, so we moving on. You say you are, but like you said, well, on the, in the news, it's in it's in your face. We're sending another aid package here and there, and blah blah blah. What about the people right here at home, man? And um, I I think if there was something that could be done to like impact black males now, and he got that path, then that would mm -hmm. be great. Another problem that we we kind of think about is. I'm not going to say Joe Biden. I'm talking about all Democrats because Joe Biden just can't go in there no. unless he does an executive order. He can't do it by himself. He has to have everyone help him. But what are the Democrats doing? What At least put a bill out there that makes it show us that you're trying to do something, but we're not seeing that. So it causes some issues. Only thing I want to say is I think black voters are looking at how they lived four years ago. And some people do feel like they were in a better position. Like you said, like the gas prices were a little bit different. You know, um, inflation wasn't at all time high. But once again, you got to remember, what did we just come out of? Mm -hmm. We had pumped all this money. Most of y'all got free checks somewhere. So you had a little extra cash anyway um, that you didn't do anything for. Right. You weren't working. You that, were staying that ain't at coming home. Back. Let me tell y'all that. That's no. not coming back. No, we're like, in a different Trump era. ain't going to get elected and be like, y'all can stay home and I'm going to send <laughs> you a check. That's not happening. No. Exactly. So I just think we need to remember where we were and where we where we are now and what happened and caused some of those changes. And so again, anybody who came right behind, you know, that 2020, I was mm -hmm. like, Oh, they're going to ride it for a little bit. But now here we are, you know, um, feeling the wrath of pumping all that extra money. And they said that they said, this is going to cause inflation. Be careful what we're doing. Yeah. And they said, it, and here we are. So yeah. we're trying to live through it and trying to get back on track. So just remember that the why um, you might've felt like you were living a little bit better at the time and what was in place and what we had been through. Yeah. And so, little, oh, I'm sorry. Living yeah. a little bit better, that was a human cost to that. Right. Like a lot of people died for that check. Exactly. <laughs> like it didn't Remember. come for free. No, yeah. Sure like, did. like so. Oh, I'm so sorry. There you go. No, that's good, man. That's a great point. Um, reason number four Joe Biden ain't the right one. <laughs>
So black male voters have a negative perception of Joe Biden based on his past, some of the things he said, uh, how he carries himself. Some people could prefer to that as his age and his <laughs> lack of action supporting black folks. Walanda, well, what do you think? Yeah, I, th- I think a lot of them are just angry over the fact if you look at his history. OK, so we know he's been in the in Congress for a long period of time. Did he dibble and dabble with, with segregationists? He sure did. But a lot of other people did, too. The one thing I do respect him. Right. I respect him. At least he's learned from his experiences. So he had to, you know, uh, had to be a running mate to um, the first black or African-American president. So I respect him in the fact that, yes, he might have had some of these specific views that they were concerned about. But he's evolved from that. And I respect that. He's been around the black man, the black woman, you know, who's actually next to him right now. And so I think his perception on things have changed. So I do understand where you might have some reservations from him, from his past and his age, because we know what era they come from. Right. We know what times he was living in and we know things that he have said in his past. But what I would say is focus on his now as well. I'm not saying your past doesn't impact you, but what is he doing for us now? What are the changes that he's making? What is his conversation? What are his words speaking to us? So in that res- respect. So just remember, I'm not saying forget the past by any means, but I'm saying, but we do need to focus on how he's carrying himself in the present. Mm-hmm. Um, also, again, just the viewer, we have a younger population um, now that's voting and they are very concerned about what's happening in Gaza and what's happening in Ukraine, you know, so they're really on top of those kind of things and what's happening to Palestinians, um, again, trying to relate to uh, Palestinians, to the black population and, and the impact that, you know, the world has had on us. So I think they have more empathy. And I think Biden needs to speak to some of these things. Can't run from it. You got to, you know, deal with it head on uh, on there. So, yeah, I just think a lot of it is just past experiences. His past is coming to haunt him. So but we do also need to focus on, on the now and the present, what he's doing for us. Yeah, let me let me let me remind y'all that Trump and Biden is old. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Trump just got better makeup artist and get his hair done and, and you know <laughs> he's an entertainer, y'all remember that. You know what I'm but saying? I think it's like you know, I said, it's how he carries himself. Yeah, no, There's I mean, a big no, difference. no, look at look at look at look at Biden no Biden is is rocking your granddaddy old. Like he's old. Like <laughs> you know, uh you know, Trump, you know, looking like sexy beast on that show and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he's he's it's two different olds, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> no his sense. ass I guarantee you that. I guarantee you, man, if we could like go home with Donald Trump and see him just break down, take off all that makeup and shit, he's an old motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get you sucker when she pop her leg off. (laughs) Take that wig off and all that shit and wash that makeup off his face. I bet that nigga look old as fuck, looking like the Crypt Keep up in his mouth. Let's go there with that, man. Um, yeah, just just be real. So let's 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 put it out there. Yeah, they both they both old. So let's 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 go ahead and like 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 uh uh Biden was like in preschool and, and Trump was crawling. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. they that close. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But let me put it um, to you like this. If you go into old folks' home and you see one a, a group of old folks sitting at the table and they all 80 years old and they playing spades or something. But then you look over there in the corner, there's another 80 year old in a chair, like just hunched up. That, yeah, but I don't that's think Biden, nigga. I don't think Biden's playing, 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 playing spades no, 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 is Biden. Trump. That's the difference. Biden, in how they look. Hey, Biden might be playing shuffleboard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But we know Trump grabbing the nurse's ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we in the damn bar. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we know what, what they no, see. No, no, we all know what they see. <laughs> but but understand, they both in the damn nursing home. For, yeah, both, yeah. Yep. Just because you know, Trump got better medicine don't mean he ain't as old as damn Biden is. So let's be right. real. No, That's what I'm not saying. Not at all. That, that medicine but, uh, I want to, yeah, yeah, the, the, you know, so yeah, yeah, so that, that's basically it. So, but I want to take it from another angle and I always, you know, black people and think about it. We just want to go black, like, Who's doing better for black people? Let's just be real. Biden wrote with Obama. Yeah. Obama Kamala. elected Kamala Harris. Yeah. You know, all right. So we just want to be superficial. But I like, I, I, I've always said, understand a lot of the push against Biden, a lot of the going against his age, you know, mm-hmm. trying to pull out how racist he was back in the 70s or whatever. A lot of that's an attack. And I think the attack on Biden is more the fact of a, being an attack on Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, I'll be honest with you, a lot of white people would be in Biden's corner if he had a white running mate. Mm-hmm. I always said, if he probably had Gavin Newsom as his running mate, mm-hmm. he'd probably be blowing Trump out the water right mm-hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? A lot, and, and I think black people need to understand and know that that's part of the push on that. 
Right, because there's people like, who don't like her, but they can't articulate why. I said, like, "Why didn't you like there, her?" There's a lot They're of people. Like, that, uh, I hate there's her. a lot of people that talk against Biden or going against why? Biden because of Kamala. They're mm-hmm. like, to me, a hidden a hidden gem in the age argument is that what if he dies? Who's the president? The black lady. The black lady. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Seriously. I feel you. And, and, and I, think, I think a lot of, I think a lot of uh, uh, so you white, think more the or, black or more the no, woman. Well, part. I think I think I think more the black and the woman. I'll be honest with you. I think it's both equal. But I also think mm-hmm. that a lot of the, I ain't going to say white people. I'm saying I think a lot of other races, that's part of the issue. He's too old. What happens if he dies in this term? And she's the, right. she's the president. You know what I'm saying? That might scare them. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, that, I, mean, that, I, I feel think what you're saying, but like, I don't know if, I don't know. You might be right, but I, I'm trying to compartmentalize it by just looking at black males. Because that's what I'm really focused on with this is like. Is the black male care if Kamala becomes president? I don't know. Do well, they? Well, my thing is this. My, 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 my thing is when we're talking about black people and, and looking at Biden, you know what I'm saying? Like right. they're, they're saying like, hey, you know, why wouldn't I vote? You know, why, why are they going against Biden? Well, my thing is a lot of the problem is that like it, it, they're saying that well, he doesn't do nothing for black folks or whatever the case may be. Right, right. But what I'm saying is like a lot of the reasons people are going at him is because what he is doing for black folks. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't looking at it from that angle. They're looking at it as just following the fucking leader or whatever the hell the reason they, they think that voting for Trump or getting in line with him makes things better for him. They're not looking at mm. what may be the issue, why not, well, people are saying the things or saying that he has age problems and all this. What's the real spin behind it? This might be a different spin that, you know, we're talking about reason number five. So reason number five is uh, black males can relate to Trump's legal issues. They have empathy for him. So Trump is being persecuted by law enforcement, just like black males. And they feel empathy. They want to be on his side because of this. So how do you feel about that, Ace? Uh, I think it's superficial. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, just because N.W.A. wrote fuck the police don't mean we all don't mm-hmm. like the police and law right. enforcement. So right. exactly. if you have a law, a law issues, a law problems, we just on your side because you one of us now. Mm-hmm. That's very superficial. You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, there's some black people that have never been to jail. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> but I will tell you this. this, this <laughs> we're talking about black males supporting him, and these might be ones who have gone to jail. Yeah. Not like what the perception is. We're talking about real support, man. There yeah. are actually black men who are like... I, I got pulled over by the police and I got harassed. And I so I know they do it. Mm-hmm. I, I went to court and I got railroaded. So I know they do that shit. And I know they try to get your ass. And now they're trying to get him. The, I'm, I'm not talking about me, you, or no, whoever else ain't been to jail. There's black males who support him because they are they have gone through what he's going through and they have empathy for that. They can understand where he's coming yeah, from. Yeah, they haven't went through what he went through. No, I'm not saying he I, 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 I see I'm what saying you're saying. The police... They, I'm not saying tip for tap, man. But what I'm saying is, I'm being I've been harassed by police. Yeah. So have some other people out there. No, no, and no. Definitely. It may be superficial. Like yeah. that's a stupid ass reason to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like very surface. Like it's no like substance no to that reason, right? Exactly. But that's their reason, dog. You 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 know you you ain't uh ever you you can't you never catch a case after being in court. Or whatever the case may be, and be able to go play golf at Mar a Lago and, and, and tra- travel the world. Or like, dude, and, yesterday, and, and, Scotty Scheffler yeah. dragged a policeman. Yeah. It was on a golf course three hours later. Exactly. Nigga, it took forever to process me for yeah. a speeding <laughs> ticket when I had a warrant for an unpaid you, speeding you, ticket. You, it took you, a whole you'll day. Never, you'll never get that. This nigga almost killed that. a policeman. Yeah, you'll never get that. Here's another thing the superficial argument. I always said this. Have you ever seen like black dudes and they'll be like, or you'll see somebody post something and they'll be like, free Pookie or whatever. We know Pookie's a killer. Like, no, leave Pookie ass in prison. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's superficial to think, oh, well, you know what? You know, the law's against us. So, uh, no, sometimes we, these people did it. And a lot of the shit that Trump did, he did this shit. It's just they're trying to prove it. But he did it. You know what I'm saying? He's around it. Where there's smoke, there's fire. They love to say that shit, right? So, nah, like if you're looking at it from that aspect, it ain't the same, bro. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the same. Ain't nobody rolling around that I know got 91 cases. Trump got it so hot. He got like four or five courts rolling at the same time. <laughs> like right now today, he got caught in different places. He got people He got people that 
that, that, that did his dirty work, that, like Eastman, they was in court like in Arizona while he in court in New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, who you know can be holding down two damn courts down in the country and they can roll around and just live how they want to live. Yo well, has to be in jail. Well, I think we shifting to a different topic, really, because you talk about like whether he did it or not versus they going to support him because the police well, are trying to uh, fuck with well, him. Well, my thing is because they're coming from a so superficial angle with the law enforcement thing, like, nah, man, this is different. Mm-hmm. This same. is different. Don't I mean stop looking at it like oh man. They, There's they, motherfuckers they, that's guilty that still feel the same way though. Yeah, I mean, like exactly. you said, free Pookie. That motherfucker went to jail, nigga. This yeah. is like, he I mean, but somebody. Pookie did that shit. You know but what still, saying? they still love Pookie. Oh, still yeah. feel like you, he get railroaded. Like, no, you love Pookie, but <laughs> let's be real, a nigga did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't support that bullshit. No, yeah. that nigga yeah. did Long it. Like, wrong. you know what I'm saying? It's everything's not a. Uh, every time the law is hitting you up, it ain't because they like. Persecuting you and shit, like but believe I think it or we not, got a problem with that is black people. But no, no, people, people been perse- persecuted, but there's some situations that ain't been persecuted, and that. Donald Trump ain't one that. of them. I, I know that. So I know that, what you're saying is yeah. correct. You're 100 percent right, man. Yeah. But as black people, we got to stop doing that, though. We got to stop supporting Pookie when yeah. we know he killed a motherfucker yeah. and putting that shit because that's exactly. that's why they feel that way about Trump. That they just feel the same way. Yeah, I want to say. He's saying he's discriminated against right. the legal oh, system. It's corrupt. Mm-hmm. Now, now he did point out he that the legal just system like is black corrupt. Black people are getting discriminated. Right. I'm being discriminated. Right. Because he feels his corrupt systems can lead to great evil. So he feels like it's just way too much. Like, yeah, I might have did a little something, something, but I didn't do all this. So that is his <laughs> take. And I don't necessarily agree with that, but that's how he feels. And some people do feel like that. They're like, the system needs to be... It needs some change. There is some corruption to the system itself. And, you know, most black populations can, who've been to jail, they can definitely relate to that. Yeah, nobody's anyways, announcing that, but, but he, I, ain't, he ain't seeing the corrupt yes, part of the system. No. He, he's getting a whole bunch of breaks. Right. I think Trump's an anti-black tyrant <laughs> and the poster boy for modern racism. That's how I feel about him. So I don't understand how they relate to him. Um, we got to remember, he falsely accused the Central Park Five still Central stands Park. ground on that, yeah, right? Five. So somebody who would relate to him thinking, well, where is the empathy for these people who weren't even guilty? And you still like go to jail. They deserve to be in jail. They're black men. They did this. They didn't do it, right? Right. right. Um, yeah, just some of the things that he's done. I'm just like, wow. But that was the biggest one. And then his example of he felt like his own impeachment trial was being like being lynched. You compared your impeachment trial to lynching. That just shows to me your, ignorance. yes, the ignorance of it. Um, the You have no empathy to what the black plight has been. So I'm like, you're in a whole different world if you think impeachment was the same thing as being lynched as a black man. Or and he did that shit. Or children. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> and exactly. he did, right. And, uh, um, damn, Mitch McConnell let you off. Yeah, he's... Publicly, now that's old. That son of a bitch. Right, <laughs> he's public dined with national with nationalists, white nationalists guys, mm-hmm. and he gets his money and donors from these people. So no, I don't understand how they can relate and feel like that's you know. Way it really hurts. Holocaust um, relate deniers. to Trump. He's right. rolling around with Holocaust oh, yes. deniers. And to this day, like this is present day things that are happening with him. But then he's like, but the black man can relate to me because I'm in court. And I feel like I'm being railroaded or they, they're just coming after me because I'm Trump. And so he's saying you're coming after him because he's Trump versus coming after somebody because this color of their skin. Right. But I again, I don't understand it, but maybe I can understand why <clears throat> some people would feel um, it's excessive, you know, like all his court cases, all his indictments. But again, if you did it. Well, here we are. 